Hi, welcome to Everyone Can Jam, where everyone can learn to play music. Something that helps a lot when we're learning to play music is really basic music theory. And you can be amazed how easy it is if we just take it one little piece at a time. So right now we're going to talk about whole steps and half steps. The guitar is wonderful for understanding whole steps and half steps. On this instrument, it's really easy to see your whole, you have the spatial relationship. And I'm not going to start with open string. I want to start up, up here in the middle. And I'm going to start, let's do something in the middle like fourth string. This is fourth string on the fifth fret. And if we're in tune with each other, it should sound like this. Um, this is a G note. But what we're learning is that on guitar, Every fret is a half step. So if I play my G note, fourth string, fifth fret, and if I play one fret higher, I just went a half step higher. I just went a half step lower, half step higher. So the main idea here today is that in music we have half steps and whole steps. Everything is built on that. On guitar, Every time you play one fret higher, that's a half step. So if you play two frets higher, guess what that is? Yep, that's a whole step. So when we play scales, most of our notes are going to be whole steps. And then every now and then, we get a half step. Whole step, whole step, half step. half step. Let's go back down to where, uh, and it's this lesson isn't really about the scale, but I just wanted you to notice most of them are whole steps. So a little, uh, a great thing, this is good exercise, especially just this scale right here. You can do a lot with that, even if pinky isn't working for you. Um, I actually have an injury that made it so I did not use pinky for a while. I'm starting to use it more now, but I learned to get around quite well with just these three fingers. Uh, so this is a great exercise just to make whole steps. And you can do it on, you could do your whole steps here on the first string and then that's a great thing to practice until it's easy. And not just being able to play it, but playing it cleanly. Um, and then when you have that skill, there's some a lot of other fun things. I'm going to uh, record a, a lesson next about a pentatonic scale, which is really easy to learn if you can do what I just did with the whole steps. So practice your whole steps, practice them wherever you want. You can practice them all on one string um, and practice your half steps and just know. It, and the thing is, um, it, this may seem like a really easy concept, but for your musical progress, it's important to know that it's not about just a concept. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. One fret is a half step, two frets is a whole step. You need to physically do it. When you physically do it, you've learned it in a whole new way, and you need it to be something you can do automatically without thinking about it. And so even though the concept may seem really easy, physically doing it makes you learn it in a whole different way and it helps your musical progress a lot. So uh, spend a little time doing that. Make sure um, it's easy to play whole steps and half steps. And then when you're learning your scales, they will actually mean more to you. It won't be just a pattern or a series of notes. You can start to understand what the different notes in the scale mean and it will be easier to know where to go to next when you start improvising and playing by ear. So uh, have fun with that, and I'll see you next time. Bye.